Archem Insignia has a nesting module which is extremely useful. It can't be emphasised enough how much money, material and time there is the potential to save if your parts are accurately fitted onto the material that you're using. It can affect both the cost because your material is expensive and you want to get as many parts out of it as you can, but also the more you can cut out of a part, the less often you have to change the material on the machine, so it saves you time in loading and unloading the machine when it's not actually producing anything. I'm going to show you a couple of quick examples with the nesting here. The first is with a single part nested many times. I'm going to go into the vector library and bring in a sign border that we've got. We want to take this design and cut it 200 times in this case. So I'm going to go into the nesting, set up some values. So we're going to use a 3mm tool to cut this out. We'll leave a bit of extra clearance on there as well. And I'm going to give it the option of part rotation. And you can see we really have a lot of control over how we nest the parts. In some cases it's important for us to control the grain of the material. So maybe I don't want to allow part rotation. What I'm going to do is say I want 200 of these, as many sheets as I need to fix them on. I'm going to hit nest. And very quickly Artchem will be able to analyse that data because there's one of them and fit as many as it can onto a number of sheets. In this case I can see it's taken three sheets. Sheet one and two are going to look exactly the same as we've got here. So I'm just going to take that and cut it twice. Then sheet three will be the rest that I needed in order to cut a total of 200 of these parts. So you can see it's very easy for me to do that with a single part. Now that's all well and good, but what if I've got something a little more complicated that I want to nest? Maybe some letters that have a, a more difficult shape as we've got here. We can do the same operation with many different vectors. It doesn't have to be just letters, it could be any shape really. I'm going to go in, I'm going to use the same parameters, but I just want a single copy of each this time and tell it to nest those. What our upcoming signal is going to do is use its nesting algorithm in order to analyse all the parts we've got there and then based on the information we've put into the nesting wizard, fit them as accurately as it can into this piece of material. In this case you can see that the letters we had were way bigger in terms of how they were laid out than our material which is a 600 by 600 millimetre block. What we're going to find though is hopefully this will be able to fit all those into that material and if it doesn't then we maybe have one or two left and we'll be able to go in there and fit them into another piece of material or use a slightly bigger piece of material if we had that at our disposal. So it's just finishing analysing the parts there because we've got a lot of different parts that just took a few seconds. Now it's actually going through the nesting process. And you can see that even though this has taken maybe 15 or 20 seconds, it will nest these parts much, much quicker than I would be able to do manually. And it's also got a much better fit than I would be able to do manually as well, unless I had many hours in which to fit these together. So very, very powerful functionality, has the potential to save an absolutely huge amount of money and time. And a lot of software companies will actually charge upwards of $1,000 just for the single module to do this, quite often with a module which is more inferior than the one we use in Arctic Insignia.